Hey guys, this is my DIY Steadicam. Uh, you've probably seen it on my channel. Uh, I've been using it for about two years now and it works really well. I've been using it for work and, and my hobbies, stuff like that. But recently I bought a three axis gimbal, um, kind of splurged on it. But I wanted to do this video to give you the pros and cons of the Steadicam and the gimbal and kind of tell you my thoughts on each. Uh, and then I'm going to give you some sample footage comparing the same shots with the Steadicam and the gimbal. So if you're not familiar with the Steadicam, um, it uses gravity and weights and balance to keep the camera up top and keep it, keep it steady. I mean, that's the whole point behind these two things is to stabilize your video. Um, the gimbal has three motors that keep the camera level with the horizon. Um, here, I'll turn it on for you. So however you move, it will keep the camera pointing straight forward. So the main reason that I'm thinking about switching to the gimbal is wind. Wind affects the Steadicam quite a bit. And when I'm working, if it's windy, it's just a, a big pain. And sometimes I actually have to come back to the location to get the shots that I need. Um, that's really time consuming and that's the big reason that I am thinking about switching here. The second reason is that I want to run filters on the GoPro. Um, you, could, you can run filters with the Steadicam but you have to balance it with the filters on and then if you take the filter off it will be unbalanced. Um, with the gimbal uh, it doesn't care about the weight. So you can put it on, take it off and it, it really doesn't care. Some of the other big pros and cons are the Steadicam is much cheaper. Um, you can build these and buy them for, for relatively inexpensive these days. The gimbals run from like 250 to 350 or 400, so they're really expensive in my opinion. The Steadicam, some people don't realize, but they can be difficult to balance. Um, a lot of the questions that I get on my DIY how to build thread is how do I balance this thing? And that's one of the hard parts. And the, the pros of the gimbal are that you just attach your camera and power it up and it's, it's done. You don't have to balance it at all. Lastly, I would say that a con for the Steadicam is that they're just harder to use. Um, you've got to really concentrate and keep very steady. Um, you still need to concentrate and keep steady with the gimbal, but it, it's much more forgiving and easier to use. Overall, it may be a good idea to start out with a Steadicam and kind of get the feel of filming and it will show you where you need to be steady and how to do that um, and then maybe progress to the gimbal if you're sure you're going to be shooting a lot of video with the GoPro. This particular gimbal is made by Xeon Tech. Um, it's called the Z1 Pround or Z1 Pro. I'm not sure how it got that name. But uh, I decided on this one because its motors are more powerful than ones made by uh, Feiyu or companies like that. Um, so it's supposed to just hold the camera steadier with, with weight or wind. So uh, that's one reason I wanted to go with that. One warning, it looks to me like all of these gimbals are made overseas. So they may have questionable support and customer service. Uh, just something to be aware of. This seems to be good quality, but you just don't really know. Anyway, we're going to roll right into the sample footage and let you see what these things can do. Now, when I filmed these scenes, I tried to be as smooth as possible with both the gimbal and the Steadicam to give the best results. There are times in some of these scenes where the gimbal and the Steadicam don't look that much different. Um, I think that's especially when there's distracting scenery or uh, like a busy background. Um, but sometimes they look very similar to each other. Here you can see a little bit of wobble in the Steadicam footage when you look at the vertical fence posts. Um, the gimbal does not have that wobble. If you didn't have the gimbal footage to compare to, you'd probably think that the Steadicam was pretty stable. These clips weren't shot at the exact same time because you can't operate both stabilizers correctly at the same time. You really need two hands to operate each one. In this clip, watch the edges of the screen compared to the vertical posts, and you can kind of see where the movement is. It's a lot more pronounced in this clip since you've got all the straight lines to compare to. Both stabilizers have a small amount of up and down bob to them, 
but that's minimized by holding them steady with two hands and walking as smoothly as you can. Here's just a little footage of me running with the gimbal. Um, it, in my opinion, it's pretty impressive, uh, steady, and just pretty amazing for somebody that's running at a, at a medium pace. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like my videos, please consider subscribing.